They told me you were over here doing research. Looks to me like you're playing pool. I'm doing both. I've got our next story. It's a uh, shooting myth from our gun-toting fans, and allow me to demonstrate. Let's say this red ball represents our shooter. Let's say the cue ball here represents the bullet from his gun. The myth is that our shooter can fire a bullet and can bounce off one, two, three surfaces and come back and kill the shooter. Well, that'd ruin your day. I know. Let's test it. Okay. The myth takes place in a half-built skyscraper. It's a pinup parable for poetic justice. One angry shot at just the wrong angle misses the target, ricochets off three steel beams, and returns to the shooter in less than a heartbeat. So how do you want to start this one? Well, I figure we need to start with some kind of a controlled situation. You know, a bench test. Well, to my mind, that just means we set up three adjustable steel plates, probably in our bunker, fire a gun into them and see if it ricochets off all three plates and kills its shooter. Works for me. All right. Ricocheting bullet. Ideal scenario. And three, two, one. I only see one plate with a mark on it. Second plate doesn't have anything. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? It looks like the lead bullet shattered, and the high-speed replay confirms their consternation. Well, that didn't work. And there's your problem. That bullet came in, and it just kind of laid flat right along the plate. It did. It was so beautiful. It followed the line just perfectly. The fire behind it is gorgeous, and then... Yeah, there's got to be a bullet that holds together better than that. Yeah, I think so. The ball bearing we're now firing into these steel plates is hardened chrome steel, and it is actually much harder than these steel plates. Hopefully, with these, we're going to see the bouncing, ricocheting action that we're hoping for on all three plates, right back to our shooter. All right, ball bearings in three, two, one, boom! Ha! I see a mark on the second plate. Oh, and I see a hole in me. Get in there and see. <laughs> to get the full picture, the boys settle down to peruse the high speed. Doink. Oh, look at it slow down. That is a lot of energy lost each time it heads. On high speed, it's almost like it's slowing to a crawl. Well, I want to actually take some measurements and do the math how fast it's actually going after that third plate. We need to know if that's lethal. <laughs> yes. Dude, it's not lethal. Really? Yeah. I come up with 106 feet per second or 72 miles per hour. It would <clears throat> you off, but it wouldn't kill you. <laughs> I can throw a baseball faster than that. I'll bet you can't. <laughs> so where does that leave us? Well, we wondered if we were thinking about it all wrong. Maybe it's not the bullet's fault. Maybe we were asking it to bounce off something way too hard. Suppose we gave it some softer surfaces. Maybe it would bounce better. And that's what we're just about to do. First bullet hit occurs on this paving stone at 22 and a half degrees. Now we know from doing this a couple times before that it's going to bounce off this paving stone at about 12 degrees into this one. Now I have this one positioned so the bullet will hit this stone at actually about 30 degrees. It's a little bit sharper, but because the bullet's got less energy, I think it's going to dig less into this stone and perhaps have a higher angle of reflection. Now it's into this one where really it's anybody's guess. I'm positioning it roughly about there, and I'm hoping that's enough to get the bullet back to Jamie's cutout. One bullet, three paving stones, and a cardboard hoosier, and a cartridge in a pear tree. For the gold! Three, two, one! The odds of success seem astronomically small, but it looks like the planets have almost aligned. I see one mark, I see two marks, I see three marks. Our stones got hit right. I see a mark right here in my chest. No! <laughs> Despite all those odd angles, they actually got the triple ricochet. The need now is for speed. Dead smack center that second. It's so pretty. Starting to slow down. Three. Oh, and now we're really slowed down. Unfortunately, by the time he hit Jamie in the chest, he was only going 200 feet per second or about 135 miles an hour. Not lethal! I'm through with you. 